In today's show, Bitcoin tackles $56,000 resistance as Tesla's Elon Candle hits days before record options expiry. That's right. As the CEO of Three Arrows Capital, Shu Zhu points out, Elon astutely aware of Bitcoin options expiry dynamics. And as pointed out by William Clemente, a record amount of Bitcoin options expire this Friday, $6 billion worth. Previous record was $4 billion at the end of January, which went up 80% after. I'll be breaking this down for you in today's show. We'll also be checking out the latest technical analysis from crypto analysts rec capital also max kaiser just tweeted remember we didn't choose bitcoin bitcoin chose us all will have to come to terms with this eventually the benefits of obliterating fiat money and central banks with bitcoin are enormous the demonetization of war and violence will have profound positive impacts on society also breaking news tesla confirms bitcoin hodl strategy as a new report says bitcoin should comfortably hit $100,000. That's right. Bitcoin shouldn't have a problem reaching six figures during the current cycle. Thanks to impressive behavior from hodlers. I'll be breaking this down for you in today's show. Also in today's episode, more breaking news. This may be one of the biggest stories of the year. Elon Musk says Tesla now officially accepts Bitcoin from U.S. customers. Checking out his tweets right here. You can now buy a Tesla with Bitcoin. He also shares Tesla is using only internal and open source software and operates Bitcoin nodes directly. Bitcoin paid to Tesla will be retained as Bitcoin not converted to fiat currency. This is a pretty big deal. As Jano points out, the ability to buy a Tesla with Bitcoin is not the big deal. Tesla's decision to not convert that Bitcoin into fiat after the sale is a huge deal. This leads the way for thousands of companies to sell products using Bitcoin without ever turning that Bitcoin back into US dollars. Touche. Also in today's show, we'll be taking a look at the overall crypto market. You can see this Elon News got the entire market pumping and back in the green. But where's the Bitcoin price? Likely to go from here find out all this plus so much more in today's show here at crypto news alerts i drop a brand new episode every single day so be sure to smash that subscribe button that's right and turn on all notifications to receive daily premium crypto news alerts every single day just like this and before i kick off today's show march 31st at 8 p.m eastern it is going down ticket Tuari's next live event entitled crypto's next trillion dollar coin back in 2016 tika picked bitcoin at 428 dollars which went on to become the world's first trillion dollar crypto now tika believes he discovered the next trillion dollar coin he's going to be revealing it live during this event and you can attend an rsvp by clicking the link right down below this video in the description it'll take you here enter your best email email address, then click the button that says sign me up. If you were to purchase Bitcoin back when he originally recommended it in 2016, you'd now have 120x gains and it gets better. Bitcoin breaking the $1 trillion barrier sent other cryptocurrencies into what we call escape velocity, delivering stunning returns like 1200% all the way up to 38,000%. And these are actual returns from some of the best picks in Tika Tuari's Palm Beach Confidential Research Service. And now just like Bitcoin, Tika says this next trillion dollar coin is about to unleash a wave of gains in a tiny handful of other coins. You're not going to want to miss this live event. Go ahead and register. Click the link right down below, and I look forward to seeing you there. All right. Welcome back to another episode of Crypto News Alerts. I'm your host, JV. We have a lot to cover, so let's just dive right in, shall we? Bitcoin recovered above $56,000 this morning on March 24th after a new Elon candle put a familiar spring into the step of the bulls. As you can see right here on your screen, this shows you the Bitcoin one-hour chart. Crunch time at $58,000 resistance. Data from Cointelegraph Markets and Trading View showed Bitcoin gaining 3.3% over several hours during Wednesday on news that Tesla will accept and keep payments in Bitcoin, which are going to be breaking down in great detail for you right here in today's show. As with the company's initial announcement of a treasury allocation last month, the news immediately translated into spot price gains as the gloom of this week's price action lifted. Analysts were thus interested in whether Tesla would spark a new phase in Bitcoin's bull market or whether the rally would be confined to the lower time frames. For the popular crypto account Rec Capital, support lays at $53,000 as before, with resistance potentially kicking in around a zone with $58,000 as as its top, checking out his tweet here on crypto Twitter. I can imagine many might be getting excited about this recent development and the Bitcoin price. If this indeed is a falling wedge, Bitcoin is now at a confluent resistance that is the diagonal of the pattern and the red box resistance area. And he's referring to his original tweet right here. One could make a case for Bitcoin forming a falling wedge right now, but I wouldn't rush. I would personally like to see more price action develop first. Hashtag 
Bitcoin. Now, Tesla's decision to both accept payment for its cars in Bitcoin and hold that Bitcoin on its balance sheet rather than convert it into dollars will likely build more momentum for the crypto assets, says Simon Peters, crypto asset analyst at multi-asset investment platform eToro, added in emailed comments. Now, could the timing of all this be a big coincidence? Personally, I do not think so, as upcoming options expiry this Friday is the largest ever. At $6 billion, the expiry event dwarfs the previous record from January, after which Bitcoin increased by 80% in a matter of weeks. And checking out this tweet from Three Arrows Capital CEO Shu Zhu, he wrote, Elon is astutely aware of Bitcoin options expiry dynamics. Do you agree or disagree? Let me know in the comments. Right down below, options expiries tend to exert downward pressure on the Bitcoin price, and a surprise uptick would potentially liquidate a large number of bears. Elon Musk is a well-known fan of such moves, championing the actions of Reddit users during the GameStop debacle earlier this year. That's right. And before I break down the latest from Max Kaiser, as well as our next breaking story, Tesla confirming Bitcoin HODL strategy as new report says Bitcoin should comfortably hit $100,000, as well as more breaking news of Elon Musk saying Tesla now accepts Bitcoin from U.S. customers and also the fact that they're not going to convert their Bitcoin to USD. But first, let's take a quick look at the overall crypto market. We can see Bitcoin trading at about $57,000, up over 3% for the day. We have Ethereum up 1.6%, trading above $1,700. We have Theta, new all-time high, up 15% for the day, trading above $13. Polkadot up almost 3%, trading at $36. And BNB up 2%, trading at $266. All right, now let's check out the latest from Max Kaiser. He tweeted, remember, we didn't choose Bitcoin. Bitcoin chose us. All will have to come to terms with this eventually. The benefits of obliterating fiat money and central banks with Bitcoin are enormous. The demonetization of war and violence will have profound positive impacts on society. I couldn't agree more. Let me know your comments right down below. Bitcoin equals peace and love and fiat money equals war and violence. That, my friend, is a fact. All right, now let's break down our next story of the day. Tesla confirms Bitcoin HODL strategy as new report says Bitcoin should comfortably hit six figures. Bitcoin shouldn't have a problem reaching $100,000 during the current cycle thanks to impressive behavior from hodlers. If you're a hodler, congratulations on maintaining those strong hands. We need more people like you in the crypto space. In their latest newsletter seen by Cointelegraph, analysts from Trading Suit, decent trader including Cointelegraph Markets contributor Philby Philby, sought to allay fears that Bitcoin's bull run is running out of steam. However, no need to panic because HODL wave stays bullish. Back in their optimism, they said data showing that more and more investors are hodling Bitcoin for the long term, one year or more, taken from the popular HODL wave indicator. This suggests that there is less desire to sell Bitcoin at short notice at a certain price, providing a solid foundation for further growth. The one year plus HODL wave suggests that Bitcoin should comfortably reach the $100,000 level during this cycle. Decent Trader summarized the following, the greater amount of Bitcoin being held for a year or longer, the less liquid the supply or potential selling pressure there will be. Typically, if 50% or more Bitcoin is being hodled, the bull market continues. Below this is potentially cause for concern. HODL waves tracks the proportion of the existing Bitcoin according to when it was last used in a transaction. Previously, Cointelegraph noted that those who bought Bitcoin during the 2017 bull run had largely held onto their position despite realizing significant gains. As you can see right here, this shows you the Bitcoin HODL waves chart taking us all the way up to $100,000. Now locking down the Bitcoin supply, as Cointelegraph reported on Monday, roughly 36% of the circulating Bitcoin supply is currently made up of younger coins, which have moved at some point in the last six months. Now, exchange data further reinforces the pro hodl mindset among investors as overall reserves continue to plummet in March, despite Bitcoin making a new all-time high. Even miners appear to be increasingly interested in keeping their Bitcoin rewards as evidenced by figures from on-chain analytics service, Glassnode Analytics, showing net miner positions turning positive this month, as you can see right here in the screen. Also, we have Michael Saylor, the CEO of MicroStrategy, described their behavior as only rational, quoting Michael Saylor right here. Strong hodlers are increasing their positions, another sharp increase of Bitcoin and illiquid wallets. As Lex Mavosky shares right here, strong hodlers are increasing their positions, another sharp increase of Bitcoin in the illiquid wallets, as you can see brought to you by Glassnode Analytics. Also, Elon Musk, the CEO of Technoking a Tesla, became the most recent high-profile hodler when he announced this morning on Wednesday that the car maker would offer products for Bitcoin and not convert the revenue to fiat. According to BitcoinTreasuries.org, Tesla currently holds an estimated 
48,000 BTC, a number that should grow as people exchange their Bitcoin for the company's electric vehicles. That's right. And before I break down our final story of the day, this breaking news in greater detail, Elon Musk saying Tesla now accepts Bitcoin from U.S. customers, which is one of the biggest stories of the year. But let's first take a quick look at the overall crypto market cap, sitting just under $1.8 trillion with $129 billion in volume in the past 24 hours. And the current Bitcoin dominance back on the climb at 60.1%. And the current Bitcoin market cap sitting just under 1.1 trillion dollars and checking out the top gainers within the top 100 we have nakr up 34 percent trading at 10 cents harmony up 28 percent for the day and a whopping 147 percent for the week trading just below 20 cents filecoin up 22 percent trading at 91 dollars and 75 cents and curved out token up 22 percent trading at two dollars and 89 cents now checking out the top losers within the top 100 we have dent down eight percent for the day but still up a whopping 256% for the week, trading at 1.1 cents. Theta Fuel down 6% for the day, but still up 52% for the week, trading just above 48 cents. Uniswap down 6% for the day, trading at $31.48. Now, out of this list of the biggest gainers and losers, which altcoins in particular are you most bullish on right now? Let me know in the comments right down below. Now, checking out one of my favorite indicators is the Crypto Greed and Fear Index. Shows we're currently rated a 65 in greed, yesterday a 66, last week a a 71 and last month a 94 in extreme greed and if you're not familiar with the crypto greed and fear index extreme fear can be a sign investors are too worried that can be a great buying opportunity aka btfd and when investors are getting too greedy that means the market is due for a correction. All right, now let's break down our final story of the day, shall we? Elon Musk has announced that Tesla cars can now be purchased using Bitcoin. Pretty cool, right? The electric car company CEO and Technokin said that the firm would operate Bitcoin nodes directly, which is pretty sweet. That means they can verify their own transactions on the blockchain. How many of you are running your own Bitcoin full node? Let me know in the comments right down below. I started running my own maybe four or five months back, and I'm so glad I did. Now, the other big announcement, they said they would hold onto the Bitcoin as it accumulates without converting it into fiat. That is the breaking story because this is going to encourage other major companies to do the same. Get paid in Bitcoin and keep it in Bitcoin and keep that BTC on your balance sheet versus converting it into fiat trash, which is really just a melting ice cube, as Michael Saylor would say. Checking out these tweets from Elon Musk here this morning. You can now buy a Tesla with Bitcoin. He wrote this at 3.02 a.m., pretty sincere. That means he's a diehard Bitcoin addict and hodler. Just saying. He also shared here six hours ago, Tesla is using only internal and open source software and operates Bitcoin nodes directly. Powerful move. If you're to ask me, Elon is playing chess, not checkers. He also says Bitcoin paid to Tesla will be retained as Bitcoin, not converted to fiat currency. This is the big news right here. And he also tweeted, pay by Bitcoin capability available outside the US later this year. So he started by accepting Bitcoin from US customers and he's saying internationally that will be available a little later on this year. And before I finish breaking down this story, first I want to remind you to smash that show more button right below this video in the description for a detailed analysis of what's going on in the crypto market. This goes for all 720 plus videos right here on my YouTube channel. I have a daily letter which goes out to over 30,000 subscribers every single day. To subscribe, visit letter.cryptonewsalerts.net. Also have a blog I update daily, which could be found at cryptonewsyes.com. It's important to do so because if I was ever delisted or deplatformed from crypto Twitter or YouTube, it allows us to stay in communication. Also be sure to smash that subscribe button right below this video in the description to receive daily premium crypto news alerts every single day. You can also find me on all the major podcasts and platforms from Spotify, the home of the Joe Rogan experience to Apple's iTunes. You can also follow me on Twitter. My Twitter handle is crypto news. Yes. And for those of you active on Facebook, I do have a private crypto Facebook group entitled Crypto Alchemy with over 18,000 cryptopreneurs from all over the world, just like yourself. To join this, click this link, request to join. I'll be sure to plug you in. And for those of you active on Telegram as I am, I do have a private crypto Telegram chat, which is uncensored. To join it, click this link. You'll automatically be added. And I'm looking forward to connecting with you personally on the inside. All right. Now let's finish breaking down our final story of the day. Tesla first signaled its intention to start accepting Bitcoin for products 
stocks in early February following its purchase of $1.5 billion worth of the digital asset. An SEC filing showed the option to buy a Tesla using Bitcoin will only be extended to U.S. customers for the time being. As I pointed out later, they're going to expand it internationally. Elon Musk's insistence that the Bitcoin earned through the sale of the firm's vehicles won't be converted to fiat suggests it's not just being utilized as a transactional medium, but also an investment tool. That's right. By running its own dedicated Bitcoin nodes, Tesla will join a global network of peer-to-peer -peer operators who host and synchronize the Bitcoin blockchain. Visitors of Tesla's website from a U.S.-based IP address will now see a new payment option widget added to the site's checkout options. The impact of Tesla's acceptance to Bitcoin may have been felt on the crypto market early on Wednesday, coinciding with the breaking of the news. The dollar value of Bitcoin jumped almost 3% from 54000 to above 57 thousand dollars as you can see right here on your screen now tesla's bitcoin terms and conditions do state that bitcoin is the only digital asset that tesla accepts as payments for its products at this time meaning you can't use ethereum or any other cryptocurrency to purchase a tesla only the king of all crypto here's quoting him right here you may not make purchases with us using any other digital asset including bitcoin fork products such as bitcoin cash trash and bitcoin sv better known as scammer vision our bitcoin digital wallet is not configured to detect or receive digital assets other than Bitcoin state the terms. And as Yano points out, the ability to buy a Tesla with Bitcoin is not a big deal. Tesla's decision to not convert that Bitcoin into fiat after the sale is a huge deal. This leads the way for thousands of companies to sell products using Bitcoin without ever turning that Bitcoin back into US dollars. Now really think about this. If you were a company or a merchant and you were collecting payments in Bitcoin, why in the world would you even contemplate converting it into cash trash when it's going to be devalued? valued like a melting ice cube when you can keep it in Bitcoin, which is the best performing asset in human history. You feel me? And as Document and Bitcoin points out, Elon Musk now runs his own Bitcoin full node. So should you. I couldn't agree more. The more people run in their own node, the better for the network and the better for you as you can verify your own transactions on the blockchain. Also, as they point out, this headline is inevitable. This Twitter user bought a Tesla back in 2021 for two Bitcoins. Those Bitcoins are now worth $20 million. By what year do you think this could potentially come into fruition. It's dated right here, March 23rd, 2028. Now here's what it looks like on the Tesla website and Bitcoin Archive points out, Bitcoin, the world is changing. You now have the option to pay by Apple Pay, order with a card or pay with Bitcoin. Just keep in mind that one Bitcoin today that is valued at roughly 57,000 could be worth 100,000 or 200,000 or even $300,000 by the end of this year. So use and spend your Bitcoin accordingly if you're going to spend it and not save it in the first place. Now for a quick recap of what I covered with you right here in today's show, Bitcoin tackles 56 and even $57,000 now as Tesla's Elon candle hits days before record options expiry. As the CEO of Three Arrows Capital points out, Elon astutely aware of Bitcoin options expiry dynamics, and I couldn't agree more. And as William Clemente points out, a record amount of Bitcoin options expire this Friday, which is $6 billion worth. Previous record was $4 billion at the end of January. The price went up 80% after. Also in today's show, I shared the latest technical analysis from analyst Rec Capital, as well as the latest wisdom from Max Kaiser, who says, remember, we didn't choose Bitcoin. Bitcoin chose us. I couldn't agree more. Also in today's show, I shared breaking news. Tesla confirms Bitcoin hodl strategy. As new report says, Bitcoin should comfortably hit $100,000. Also shared the latest from analyst Lex Mavosky, as well as breaking news. Elon Musk says Tesla now accepts Bitcoin from U.S. customers. As Elon tweets right here, you can now buy a Tesla with a Bitcoin. Tesla is only using internal and open source software and operates Bitcoin nodes directly. Bitcoin paid to Tesla will be retained as Bitcoin and not converted to fiat currency, which is amongst the biggest news story of the year. As Yano points out, the ability to buy a Tesla with Bitcoin is not the big deal. Tesla's decision to not convert that Bitcoin Bitcoin into fiat after the sale is a huge deal. So where do you feel the Bitcoin price is likely to go from here? Let me know in the comments right down below. Well, that's going to conclude today's show. As always, I appreciate you tuning in and journeying along with me inside this incredible crypto matrix. If you gain value out of today's show, be sure to smash that subscribe button. That's right. And turn on all notifications to receive daily 
premium crypto news alerts every single day just like this and real quick before i go it's all going down march 31st at 8 p.m eastern tika Tuari's next live event entitled crypto's next trillion dollar coin back in 2016 tika picked bitcoin when it was trading at 428 dollars and if you would have listened to him back then you now have 120x plus gains as bitcoin went on to become the world's first trillion dollar crypto now tika believes he discovered the next trillion dollar coin and during this live event he's going to be revealing the name absolutely free all i need to do to register an rsvp is click the link right down below it'll take you here simply enter your best email address and click the yellow button that says sign me up you're not going to want to miss this live event so go ahead and click the link right down below i look forward to seeing you there and i'll see you on tomorrow's episode peace